Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching. In today's video I am going to go back to touching on PFSense which is always a popular topic and in today's video we are going to see how to set up and configure Snort which is PFSense's one of two IPS IDS solutions, the other one is Suricata. Don't have much experience with it, although it can't be much different. I'm going to show you how, how I have configured and worked with Snort throughout the years, which has wor worked very well for me. But keep in mind, Snort can be configured in a thousand different ways. There are thousands of settings, thousands of, for example, signature categories. So what I am going to try to do is I'm going to try to show you how I deal with a Snort, how I deal with, uh, for example, false positives. But start simple and then when you grow more comfortable with Snort, you can start fiddling around, playing with settings, adding, subt subtracting. So I'm going to show you how I, I would advise you to start with Snort, which will give you an important layer of protection. So let's go over to the computer and start seeing how to configure Snort. Alright guys, so we are at the computer and this is my lab uh, PFSense device but even before we start doing stuff on PFSense the first thing that we need to do is to first get ourselves a, a snort code, they call it an OIN code uh, which is hilarious because their logo is a, is a pig so what you need to do, of course I'm not going to go through this uh, process you need to sign up to snort, you'll get a free a code that you need to copy into notepad or something or to your clipboard at this point I, I trust that you know how to sign up for online services I'm going to log in with my credentials and get my code copied into notepad here is my oink code right here I'm going to copy it and I'm done with the snort website all right at this point, all we need to do, I already did it, go to the package manager. If you haven't installed it already, just go to the available packages, find Snort and install it. I have already done uh, this installation, so I got the package already installed, but it's not configured yet. In order to configure it, we're going to go to services and Snort. All right, so there are a few, uh, 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 a few settings in, in here that I'm going to go through in, in, a, in a logic that makes sense to me. The first thing is going to global settings and enable this and here you'll paste in your oink code from Snort. I'm also going to enable this set of rules, this set of rules. The pro version is something that you need to uh, uh, pay for, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to apply this and enable this set of rules and these. Update interval, I'm going to uh, in update my categories every 12 hours, even one day is okay. I'm going to hide the deprecated categories, uh, um, remove block hosts, it's up to you, you can never remove them or remove them, for example, after a week, it's up to you. Everything else I'm leaving as is. Now that we got uh, the category vendors, the, the signature vendor category vendors, what I like to do right now is go to updates and manually update uh, 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 Snort with all the uh, uh, signature vendors so that everything will be already populated when we start to configure Snort itself. Let's click on update. And of course, I'll pause the recording right here and uh, uh, resume it once it's done. This can take anywhere from 2-3 minutes to 10-15 minutes. Alright, so as you can see, all our, uh, um, um, all our signatures from the vendors have been updated and populated. This means we can move forward. What I like to do is first create a pass list. A pass list is something that uh, will automatically at least by default, will include when gateways, when DNS servers, not everything that goes through these uh, servers, but the actual gateways and DNS servers IP addresses in order to prevent them to being somehow a, a, a false positive blocked. 
I'm going to create a pest list, include all of these. You can even uh, add your own personal IPs or aliases uh, created in uh, uh, PFSense and save it just so we will have uh, the, uh, the pest list entity created. Suppress is something that I'll create right now, but in the future it will help us manage what we see as false positives. All right, so now I've, I'm, I'm done creating my, let's say, a, a, a overall a, a, a snort a settings or general snort settings. What I like to do now is go into snort, the snort interfaces a, a tab, click on add, and uh, usually what we'll, uh, we'll do right here is assign or tell Snort what's our when interface. In our case, we only have one, which is when. Moving downward. This is where uh, I would like, or I recommend that you uh, start with, is not checking this checkbox right here. This is what will make Snort become from an IDS and IPS. If we leave this unchecked for a week or two weeks, Snort will identify and uh, let's say flag what uh, Snort sees as uh, uh, malicious activity, but it will not block the traffic. This will give you a chance or a period of time of only observing what's going on and maybe identifying a legit, uh, something that was legit that was flagged ahead of time before you go into the blocking mode. I'm going to check it right now because I do want uh, for the sake of this demonstration, even to uh, uh, try to create a, a, a false positive uh, later on in the video. I'm, go I'm not going to touch, to touch the legacy or inline mode. I'm going to keep it as legacy, at least for me. I'm not going to touch anywhere on these settings, my pass list. This is where I'm, I'll assign my created pass list uh, 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 for uh, Snort to, uh, 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 to take into consideration. This is where I'll tell Snort what's my suppress list. Currently it's empty, but Snort will know uh, to look at it once it's, uh, 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 once it's populated with, uh, uh, with stuff. I'll click on save. I'll go to the next tab, when categories. And this is where we have a lot of, uh, let's say, flexibility, because we can go category after category and see what goes well or what's relevant for us. This is actually how I do stuff. I don't select a pre-configured policy. I choose the, uh, the specific categories that I want Snort uh, to sniff through. But for the sake of simplicity, what I would advise you to do is to use a pre-built policy. For example, uh, something that is more balanced between uh, uh, connectivity and security. So let's choose balanced and this will make Snort select a, a pre-configured set of a, 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 a policies or categories that a, 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 what they think is the perfect balance between a, a filtering and connectivity. I'm going to click on save. At this point, I'm not going even to bother uh, changing these, uh, uh, the stuff on these uh, uh, tabs. I, ne I never did, by the way. So at this point, I'm pretty confident that I have configured everything that I want to configure, but I always take a second look on all, that, uh, on all the things that I uh, uh, have configured and probably and try to look for maybe something that I didn't configure just briefly going over everything, briefly going over everything. All right, for me, it looks like everything is configured at least the way that I think it should. So I'm going to go over to the main tab right here. And now, since we've configured a Snort, assigned a WAN interface, it's time to enable the service itself and we'll do it by clicking the play button right here. If everything is configured in a way that makes sense, we'll get a green checkbox. If not, we'll get a red X, which is something that we never like seeing. I'm going to go back to the main PFSense screen right here. I'm going to move the snort alerts to the third tab. Now, 
Snort, usually, uh, the thing that I uh, least like about Snort is that it acts before the firewall rules. This means a lot of traffic that Snort uh, will alert you on is traffic that uh, uh, from the beginning would never even go in through your firewall. But Snort filters before the firewall, so it's the first layer of protection, so you'll get a lot of noise in the snort alerts in, in the logs. So you will need, if you encounter a false positive, you will need to do a certain, a certain let's say, procedure to identify only the, the traffic that you are looking for out of all the noise. Now, the noise will take time to populate. I'm going to try to generate more traffic so that snort will start uh, populating its logs. I'm going to cut the recording right here and resume it once some uh, uh, traffic is uh, logged by Snort. Okay guys, so as you can see, Snort has started sniffing out traffic and identifying things that it doesn't like. And Snort, if you click on uh, uh, the title here, will take you to the Snort logs. It, it will even tell you uh, the source IP and what is the category or the signature that made a Snort uh, let's say flag this traffic as uh, uh, inappropriate. So this is how you look for the things that you got uh, blocked and I'll show you exactly how important uh, uh, this uh, uh, log. I tried, I really tried to create something that will be a false positive but uh, 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 I couldn't. Uh, I'm sure that I will encounter it if I uh, let uh, uh, the PFSense firewall run a few days. But let's simulate a, a, a false positive, something that should have gone in a certain way, but uh, for example, a website uh, and uh, open a website, open a web browser and go to cnn.com. And as you can see right now, cnn.com is loading, but let, let's say you are now seeing that cnn.com is not loading. Let's say you can see that CNN is not loading and you're left with, I don't know, a white blank page or something. So if it's not an ISP, of course I'm talking about a case where it's not an ISP issue or something like that. How, you'll, how I usually break down or see if it's something that Snort has blocked for me is go into Snort alerts and I'll clear them. Go into blocked. If something has been blocked by Snort, I'll click on clear. Right now nothing is alerting, nothing is blocked. And then I'll go back to CNN or the traffic that got you false positive and try to reload it. At this point, I should have seen something again in the logs and then maybe I could identify the source IP or maybe if it's some, sometimes a snort blocks download so you'll see an alert that says download or something. But if I have successfully identified a traffic that's legit for me but was blocked by Snort, what I'll do right now is go into the uh, GID CID, for example, and click on the plus button, or maybe I want to suppress uh, uh, the, uh, the source IP. So I'll click on the plus uh, uh, below the source IP, but let's say I want to block, uh, sorry, suppress every site that uh, goes through, uh, that uh, is blocked for this specific reason, I'll click on the plus button, clear the logs, clear blocked, and if CNN didn't load before, it will definitely load right now, assuming that it was uh, uh, really blocked. But once we clicked, clicked on the plus button, what really happened is our suppress list has taken the signature itself and added it to the suppression list. So the more you encounter legit traffic that Snort some, for some reason blocks, you'll click on the plus button, the, the signature or the uh, source uh, IP will be added to this list, and the next time uh, Snort will encounter the traffic, it will take the suppression list into account and of course allow the traffic. So this is how I configure Snort. Of course, if you think that I maybe uh, um, left something important out, by all means, please put in a comment and let me and everyone else know about it. 
Uh, this is how I do things. This is how things uh, have, have been working out pretty well for me. By the way, uh, if you remember, we have enabled uh, the IPS uh, in a predefined policy. Once you've grown more comfortable with Snort, you can even uncheck using a policy and dive in and select individual uh, uh, categories. So guys, I hope this was informative. Please join me in my next video. And again, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.